Sunda. Pull through the spine. So you want to soften and relax the muscles. And there's this upward feeling in your supporting bones. You just want to gently breathe and breathe out while you're doing this. Gently breathe in, gently breathe out. Sink. And four more. and shake. So we're doing bounce first, so you just imagine you're on a trampoline but your feet are stuck on it and you're, you're just feeling the bounce through the body. You want to open from the lower back as you softly gaze forwards and listen behind. So that you, there's a down of it, yeah, it warms you up. Down and up, down and up. And we've got the windows up because of ventilation rules. Yeah, yeah, good. And um, there's actually technically four people here. So, okay. <laughs> just, um, we're one later and there's a couple of people that couldn't make it but watching the video later. So you get a video of the class. Um, okay. So if you send me an email, okay. um, I can send you the link for the video. Oh, so I'll upload that immediately. Yeah, yeah. Um, goes, it just goes yeah. up there. It's quite exciting. Yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah, my, my computer, I think my computer's got a bit of COVID because I've been trying to make it, I, I edit videos for, for Tai Chi and that, and it keeps crashing, so I've got to do something clever with it. And 
So I'll, I'll, I'll put the updates, uh, I'll put the uploads up as best I can, really. Keep breathing, that's it. Okay, and then change. So you, you pivot around your elbow and you get a nice stretch out to the side. So have you done like dance or anything? Mm -hmm. uh, yoga? No, I Oh, brilliant, okay. So it's sort of similar, it's sort of similar kind of dance yeah. that you're yeah. being relaxed. Yeah. So you want to be relaxed and mindful yeah. to what you do. You want to pay attention to how you're moving. And you want to listen to your body. So it's really that way. So yeah, I'm just waiting to put an um, advert out with local magazines and that. I've just got to do that to try and get a few more people. We've got um, a sort of grey hair in the uh, school that we've sort of opened up a bunch of classes in the East Pass area. So it'd be nice if we could get a few more people yeah. coming. It'd be really good. But, so. Yeah. so keep breathing and we're nice and tall. We're tall and we're feeling like you've got lots of room in the body. That's it, brilliant. Okay, now this one is a bit trickier. We'll, we'll, we'll break it down. So one in front, one behind. Show you one in front, one behind. Show it from the other side. One in front, one behind. And we're transferring our weight. So the, the weights transfer, very important in Tai Chi. So these are the loosening exercises. I just love this hall, it's so relaxing. Do they do yoga in here as well? Do you know? I think they do it in my sleep, yeah. Nice. I, I don't come to it, but I'm, I've just found out that they do, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I, I do yoga at home on Zoom. Oh, great, it's so much easier at home. Yeah, I do Tai Chi at home on Zoom, as well as Tai Chi in face to face classes. I sort of do both now okay. since the pandemic. Yeah, I it's really easy. Because when you're at home, like, you can really have that garden. Yes, of course. And you throw that up. Go and get that too. Yeah. I know where everything is. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you know it. But having an actual face to face class, I appreciate both now. Yeah. Which yeah. is really good. Yeah. But it makes it more accessible on Zoom. Exactly, yeah. So, so like, it, like, because the problem is there's a lot of people that are having to isolate because it's yes. thing, and they can't come to class, so they can come yes. on Zoom. And I've actually had that happen a few times at Eden, I was a teacher at Eden. So, uh, there we go. So, we'll, we'll just have a little shake out. We're going to have a look at that in a bit more closer detail. We're going to look at the weight transfer. So, make your feet a bit wider. That's it. And we're just going to practice transferring the weight to the balance point of the foot. So, just behind the ball of each foot, for the video, just behind the ball of each foot, you're putting your weight through. And it's called the bubbling well point. It's on the kidney meridian uh, in Chinese medicine. Oh, happy new year. It's the year of the tiger this week. Okay. So, uh, well, I think it's the water tiger. One of my students went and said, here, look, looked it up on the internet before me. Read it out. So it's quite, quite interesting. The culture, you know, the, the thing that you're learning, it's sometimes nice to... So I, I don't really like celebrating new year as such, but I do... Make a mental note when it's happening with people last year. Yeah. Okay. My friends are uh, half Chinese, so you always say about the same. You always say about the So we just transfer the weight. Now this time we transfer the weight. Now stay in that foot. Now turn to the opposite corners where the weight's going. And you want to use your sleepy tight eyes to scan along an imaginary eye level line along the wall. So we've got a lovely big room here, and if you're at home and you're practicing this because uh, you couldn't make the class earlier, you just use your eyes to scan along the wall. That's it. So you transfer the weight. Okay. Transfer the weight. So now the arms, you're going to do this in slow motion. So you come up through the middle, let the arms float up, transfer the weight, 
turn when the frog is in hand. So I learned this exercise from Master Chung. Yeah, so I've got a uh, Okay, now try a bit quicker. So, uh, yeah, normally I have about, there's about four people that come, but they all kind of vanish. Because there was one week, a couple of weeks ago, I had to stay at home because I, I got a positive uh, PCR at the, I work in the care home. Okay. I do um, Tai Chi massage music for the people in the dementia bit. Um, so I'm doing like a couple of bathrooms. A week and they do PCRs because they're stronger than their horse and they, and, and they just picked it up. I didn't have no, I had very, very mild versions, so I wasn't infectious, so that was good to know. But it basically meant I could I could only do it on Zoom, yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't come in, so it's well, a bit annoying. Yeah, well, eventually, I think they'll just it will be treated like if you've got flu or you cold or I think so. I think it's, it's just mild, 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 yeah. People are dying of it, but maybe they haven't even got it, they've got something else. They can have something else and it will help, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the final push. The final push, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's and you know, I've been, I've been jabbed up, so. Yeah, of course. You know, so I, I do it, obviously, it worked really well, vaccines. So. Yeah, I think vaccines have really helped. Yeah. I think it's your confidence having the vaccine. Yeah, I wasn't quite so worried because I was like, oh. And I didn't actually know, you know, no loss of smell or taste, no cold, no temperature, no headache, nothing. No, so I must good. have got really sick in my brush or something. Good. Okay. Now check your posture. Nice and tall. You've just been there. Ugh. Don't you just. Ugh. Just let it all. Ugh. Relax. Very good. So, um. Yeah, some weeks you've got the dementia choir coming okay, every other week, Wednesday, Wednesday, yeah. the Wednesday. So sometimes I'll have to knock the wall, but other times when they're not here, they're not hanging out. So I'm happy to take questions and stuff. Okay. So this is sort of a um, health class and uh, chain style. So we've got a thing called silk weave. It's very nice movement for building up. Um, it's good for coordination. It's good for both. Lots of things. So we just transfer, we just drop, drop the arm, drop the arm. Very nice. The breathing's fabulous. Very good. How are we doing in that? Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. Um, if you want to, you want to lengthen more through the head and sink more through the hips, and just think of yourself being very engaged and connected through the body. Yeah, Mike, Mike teaches in his intermediate class, so I've got, uh, I'm teaching four classes today, then I'll go see my teacher. I've okay. uh, done some practice as well, let's do a bit of practice. And then you do this one, you just swing forwards and back. And um, there's a few people, one of them doesn't live in Cambridge anymore, so he comes on Zoom and does it. Quite good. Keep breathing nice and tall to show you that from a different angle. So you want to. And wobbling. We'll explain things as we, we go along. Great. Keep breathing. Okay, sure. Right. Um, yeah, we'll do 
some leg swings just to kind of get, it's quite good to spend a bit of time on the legs just to get a bit of energy going around the body. And um, here we go. So I'm just going to kick the leg up, swing it up. One, two, three, four, we'll do 16, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16, great. Uh, hamstrings, now we'll, um, we'll just do opposite. So opposite, you're kicking yourself, opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nice and back. That's better. And then you tap the side of your. So you keep the hands where they are, you bring the side of your foot, oh, your ankle up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then. Um, keeping the leg that side, you're just going to very gently imagine you're passing a football forward or you're, or you're pushing something with your foot. We're going to do 16. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Very nice. Okay. Transfer. So we're just going to get into transferring the weight. Just kind of swaying to one side or the other, but you're getting it to the middle of the foot. That's it, that's nice. So you want to keep your feet flat on the floor and you're transferring. You want to keep everything nicely lined up. You're looking forward, listening behind. Next week we'll, we'll count 
until a five, and then you can count to ten and hold it up. Really works. So really good. Okay, shake it out. Okay, just wiggle your toes. And then draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. Draw the toes in. Oh, you're a cat. But when they, when they do that, oh, brilliant. Draw the toes in, stretch the toes out. Yeah, well, I've got a new housemate. She moved in with two cats and wanted to get in. So I was just about, uh, the other day I was about to have a shower and I got in the shower and there's a cat in the window and I said, I said, boy, get out! <laughs> well, they're really good. So they're also in the Tai Chi classics, it says move like a cat. So stretch out, come in, stretch out, that's good, get in. Okay, so we've woken up the feet a bit. Let's do, let's do some shoulders, so we come up, round, back and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, good. Two. So be aware of the whole of your body, even though you're moving the shoulder. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nice and tall. So we're just going to sit. So, um, um, yeah, we'll do first folds and swings. I'll show that from the diagonal from the video. And then when you see the video, I'll, um, um, if I, I can send you, I can put you on my email thing from there because I've got the computer there. Oh, okay. Okay. And we can do that at the end. And then, when, then I've got a load of video up and then it goes on. It's brilliant. Okay. Really good. Um, yeah. So, we'll do, it's called bird folds and swings. So you open, feel that chest is open. Now really feel the chest open. We're going to do a slow motion version. So we've been looking at speeds this week with my teachers. And you close. And when you close, you show that for the video, the back opens. Show that from the side. The back opens. When you open, the chest opens. And if you want, you can look up as if you're like, oh look, there's a, I saw a, a when I was driving, um, to between uh, Bow and sort of Prior, there's this stretch of road, and I saw a kestrel yeah. on the side of the road. Sometimes you get to see your buzzards, so imagine you're looking up at the yeah. bird, and there's just slightly, just slightly forward, and then you come down like that. That's a slightly more advanced way, but it's quite nice. It's very gentle, and at the same time, you're feeling what's happening in your shoulder joints. Oh, lovely. It's a nice little. I really like this move. Bird folds its wings. And I, I just. You can feel it do useful things for the back as well. Soften the knees. Soften the knees so they're not. They're slightly unlocked. So they're unlocked with a little bit of bending, but not like a huge bend. It's a mild bend. There we go. Okay, so that was bird folds its wings. Now we've got another bird. The peg. The peg is this beautiful, big, uh, mythological, multicolored bird from uh, I think probably <coughs> Buddhism. I think. I think it's from. I'd, I'd have to check, but it's it's a mythological bird. It's very colourful, and this move is called peg waves its wings. So you turn the hands, so you can feel the rotation in the shoulder joint, and you come up and forward, come all around, and down. Oh, that's it. And just, again, just do it in slow motion. So I turn my waist slightly, I sink my knees, knees are pointing where the toes point. So having good alignment is very important for Tai Chi. When you're being mindful, you're being respectful 
of our bodies, we're listening to our bodies and we're paying attention to how we are moving. And then the other arm up. Noticing what you notice, notice what you sense. I will do one more rep. Sounds like they're doing building or something. So they're renovating the church. Oh, the church! Is it? Oh, lovely. <coughs> oh, lovely. Is it quite old? Is it? Yeah. It's quite yeah. Old. yeah, yeah. They do need a lot of like, these old buildings. They often need a bit of TLC. But they also converted it so that it's more usable. Oh, they want to get a toilet and a kitchen. Oh, that's wonderful. So it'll be like another little community yeah. center thing. Like that. Yeah. Oh. Makes it more versatile. Yeah. Oh, what a good idea. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So this is called horse starts. It's a very unenthusiastic horse start. You can, if you want, you know, if you feel it, you can do a horse start like that. But we're not going to because we've already been shown off. So um, what we're going to do is this move is called polishing the table. Um, it's one from the head on show. Show it from the side of the video. So you have your hands round, a nice round shape, and then you keep upright and you turn. It's almost like an imperious kind of look. And then you sink your hips back and the hands back to counterbalance. You keep your back long and lengthened without any extra bends in it. And then you come back and put it back where you found it. Very good. And you turn. One, two, three. So yesterday we were looking at speeds with Corel and with some silk breathing. So we'll be doing some silk breathing today too. After we've done a bit of econ through the if I haven't run out of time, oh my goodness, it's nearly one o'clock already. <laughs> two, three. That's lovely, nice, soft, smooth and slow. Here we go, nice and that. One, two. So we'll do this one. Push away the mountain. Come forward and then you drop the elbows. Push. Out. Open. Show you that from the back diagonal. Push forward. So it's like you're turning something. That open feeling in the palms. That's it. And you're going to have a little bit of bend in the arms. So if you notice, I've got a slight bend in the arm. So we come up, open. Big breath in. Oh. That's it. So as you push, you sink. Come up. Push and sink down. Lovely. One more time. That's wonderful. That's a really lovely. Nice one. Have a little shake out. That's very good. Um, yeah, we'll do open and close for a bit and then we'll stop and put the water away because that's very important. So, just again, just go around with this nice round shape. You want to feel that you've got lots of room in your um, under each arm. So, you can imagine that ever, like one of my teachers says, imagine you've got a warm bread roll under each of your arms. Or like you've been to the supermarket, you've got a warm baguette, you know. As a reach up. And you want to you want to sink hips, just create some space in all your joints. Spend a bit of time breathing and making room in the body. Getting calm and getting comfortable. So you just want to feel a little bit of room in the body. Own your space. Especially very important for us women to feel comfortable owning our space. You know, International Women's Day is coming up. And 
And like one, one thing I've noticed in, in class and also my background, although most of my teachers are men, I've also got Eva, who's a lady teacher, and, and she's really into kind of, you know, only your space, only your space, you know. We've got we've got just as much right to you know, um, and, and 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 the idea of that uh, it's a it's a soft martial art, so we're being we're being assertive. And that's fine too. So it's all yeah. So you want to create some create some room in the body. There we go. Oh, so nice work. So oh, we'll do some breathing. This is another exercise I've done with Eva to show that. So you have one hand on the lower dantian. It's one of your energy centres. So in, in um, Tai Chi, you have three energy centres. I know in yoga they have the ones up in the centre. Um, so some of them actually coincide. They coincide. So um, um, you've got the, the crown, uh, the third eye, yeah, that's the same. Yeah. And then you've got the, the red solar plexus chakra, that's the same. And then you've also got the root chakra hanging, it's in the same spot. So, but they just focus on the three, but they call it the three energy centers. So you place your hand here, and nice and soft hand, relax in the rib, and then you place your like, back of your hand here, and you're just breathing into your hand. So another thing Emma gets us to do is to actually lie on the floor and when we breathe in and out feel like our backs going into the floor. It's very interesting. Or you can do it against the wall. If you go against the wall and lean against the wall, you just breathe into your back against the wall. Try it out at home. Um, actually try it now. Find wall. And just place your hands below that again and just breathe in. You almost with your breath, you're pushing yourself forward. So it's like you're filling your whole body with air. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, but Eva's been really into the breathing. So she, she talks about natural breathing. So let's just go back to this one. So you're not forcing the breath in, it almost falls in. I mean yoga, they do a much more sophisticated, they do all the thing with the nose and all that. Um, just breathe naturally. Okay, so now we get right, now we do open close. So wrists open, fingers wide, breathe in. Wrists close, fingers wide, breathe out. Breathe in. So you want to feel solid connection to the ground through your feet. You want to look forward as you wrist your arms. It's like eyes of a sleepy tiger. Eyes of a sleepy tiger. They relax, they're alert. So um, I had the absolute pleasure of learning with Master Huang Ping. She's the seventh degree master. She got headhunting when she was like five or six, and then she got trained in all different kung fu's and tai chi, five different styles of tai chi. She's amazing. Uh, she works in London now. Uh, she's, a, she's the kung fu master at a Chinese school, and um, she was very particular about the sleepy tiger eyes. Yes, we understand it. Sleepy tiger eyes, the relaxed but alert gaze. So it's as if you can see through. That church very far away. So open. So, now this time you leave elbows open, wrists open, hand, fingers wide. Elbows close, wrists close, fingers close. Okay. It's almost as like if you're just breathing with a hold of your body with something carousing. Okay, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers close. Open the palms of the hands, nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Really tune in to your senses. So you're aware of what's happening in your body, you're aware of what's happening outside, equally. 
chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers, open. Raise up to shoulder height, open. Feel the body open, then relax, release and close. So feel the back open, feel the chest open. Imagine you're getting taller each time as well. Just really own your space. There we go. And oh, nice. Oh, that's so nice. And then keep the hand in front. Now we go up to head height, but you want to keep the hand in front so you can see your hands with peripheral vision. There we go. That's it. Come up. And down. Up. Very nice, everybody. So this is obviously the elite group. Well, we're missing one person seeing the doctor, one person's got work with him, and then we've got another guy's got the meeting. So there should be about, normally I have about six. <laughs> it's like, where's everybody? Oh dear. And one more time. And all the way down. Just do the, the, the lower version. Just feel that open, close, open, open, close. Okay, once more we're feeling open, close. Ah, lovely. Okay, now imagine you're a, a beautiful, this beautiful beach, this beautiful calm sea, or somewhere hot. And you've just got, you're just standing in the sea and you can feel the water. It's very still. What we're going to do is we're just going to move. It's just called moving through water. So moving through water. It's one, one uh, time where I, I usually, if I'm doing twos, I prefer to teach my back all set. But then there's always the risk. Starts to rage. So I really, really, truly was moving through water. So moving now, you do lifting water. So you lift up the water, and you imagine the water trickling down your arm. You've got the sunshine glinting through the right through the water droplets. So that's the, the blue sky. It's oh, it's not nice warm, feeling comfortable, owning a space, kind of feeling. Cultivating, and we're coming up that beautiful. So, this is the eagle. So, you use the images, use the images, and it changes the physical, what was physically happening. It changes the image. It's a nice, soft, soft, smooth, and slow. That's good. Okay, now rest your hands on the imaginary ball that's floating water. Bring it in, come down, pull the ball in, and then you push it up through your hands.
So try that the other side. One, two, three, four. Soft, smooth and slow. The arm floats. So just float your arm. Imagine it's made out of very light air. It's got very light air in it. Just up. Nice. So yeah, Nick had to talk to the police because of this recording. Because uh, he was out there with his... With his um, Parabolic microphone dish thing and his camouflage and his big you know, 
fluffy thing to go over. It was very late at night because that's where the owls come from. That's the best to get the best sound. So there we were setting up, nice and quiet. Trudge, 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 thump, crouch. What are you doing at this time of night? So, oh, hello. And it was, hello, I would say, yeah. And uh, apparently there'd be reports of nefarious activities in which owl sound recording is not one. But it basically meant the police fighting off the owls. And there's one on Oz called Owls. Ah. <laughs> you fight them away. <laughs> so he had to come back the next night. But <laughs> okay, go back to this one. What we're going to do now is going to go a bit faster. One, two, three, and you use the whole arm. Four, five, six. So this is fresh from yesterday morning. So I'm still trying to work out what on earth it was. It was get this to... Okay, now a little bit smaller but faster. So you go like that. Seven. And then just the wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go back to the big slow one. Woof! Not hard to know, isn't it? Let's try that again. Oh, excellent! Hey, you made it! <laughs> well done! You got another zoomie! <laughs> right, good job. You'll, you'll get the first half of the class on YouTube later. Good job. Yeah. And Brad Brand sends her apologies. She's stuck at the doctor's, so she can't. I'm really sorry. I'm at the doctor's. You won't let me do I'm still waiting. It's a lot of very, very popular. You know. It's all the rage, spending hours curing or catching COVID. Okay, now try on the other side. So we do a big one and slow. Slow and stately. There we go. So you come in at the bottom, you come out at the top. In at the bottom, out at the top. In at the bottom, out at the top. God, this, this is really whist by, isn't it? And then a bit smaller, a bit faster. We'll do a bit faster. That was one, two. You can watch the video when you get home. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and then a smaller but faster circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just the wrist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back to that slowly. Whew. A lot of effort. Okay, let's do silk reading number two. Here we go. We come round, that's it. We won't do the fast version. I just wanted to show you a fast version. The other one we did was a bit of winding, and you're on the roll, so just bust along. Just, just bust along, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, there should be about four people in the room, and there's just me and Sue. There we go. Right, silk reading, other side. So this is silk reading number two. Right, this next one's a bit tricky. Actually, no, we won't do the really tricky one yet. We're going to do push away the mountain. Next. Keep breathing. Oh. Okay, have a little shake it out. It murders your legs, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Really good. Makes your legs stronger so you can balance better. It's fabulous. Okay, so um, yeah, let's do this. You put your hands. Um, either that way round or that way round, and just do a little kick. You do a little kick in the scoop, a little kick in the scoop, and that's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a bit John Cleese and some walks, isn't it? Seven and twelve. Okay. And we just hands on the hips and circle. One, two, three. So it's nice to do some, and then go five in the other direction, do some nice little joint mobilisations. Five. Okay, hands on the knees. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay, this next one uh, is called Push Away the Mountain. 
So if you're going to push your way around to be confident, own your space, have correct alignment of posture. Right. Okay, so demonstration observe. So we stroke down. Imagine a really beautiful giraffe and you're stroking its legs because giraffes breathe. And then you turn palm and palm towards you. Then you bring it round. Then you've got the bendy arm and the straighter arm. You bend the arm, that's like an angle, straight arm. Turn towards the straight arm, turn towards the bendy arm. Well, straighter, this is like you're about to. And then you push. Push the mountain away. Push the mountain away. Stroke. Stroke. Straight arm bent on, turn towards the straight arm, transfer your weight, turn towards the back arm. And then, there is another version I did of this yesterday, but I'm not going to do it just to confuse things. This is the one, this is the push away the mountain. There's also one, um, they called it something different, and it was slightly different angle. Idea is push away the mountain. That's it. One. To use the whole of your body together. So um, earlier, uh, Amy, we were talking about International Women's Day, and that it's a, you've got to get used to being only in your space and being comfortable over your space. Being comfortable. So it's about that. So we're only in our space and we're using our sleepy tiger eyes to gaze forward. Sink, push. Very good. Very good for building up the strength. Your legs and your shoulders keep relaxed, soft, smooth, and slow. Sink. So you're using the whole body as a connected unit. There we go. We push. Nice. One, two, three. Winding. Demonstration. This is a bit trickier. It goes one, two, three. One, two, three. I'll turn around. It might be easier if I'm doing it from the back. Here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Two, one, two. Don't worry if you're having one. It took me. I'm still trying to do it now, actually. He did a slightly different version yesterday and our, our brains melted, so uh, but we were relaxed, so it's okay. <laughs> Middle one winding version version one, I guess. There's a version two, but I need to practice it and it's not as I prefer this version. I think it's much nicer. You can just feel the whole of your body connected, relaxed and loose, but firm. There we go. Marvellous. One, it comes back, we found it, and then whew. Yes, there we go, that's it. Yeah, good effort. Okay, let that go. Um, just for the last six or seven minutes, we are going to do white eight office fruit. I will demonstrate it this way. And I will demonstrate it that way. It's like being with the aeroplane. <laughs> the Tai Chi. Tai Chi aeroplane. Yeah, Tai Chi aeroplane. I want to be, that would be, I want to be the uh, host, host, host there. So, you transfer the weight. Heart of Wild Hoots is going to open. Now, there's a video of me doing this at Stockholm Choir Village Hall. Do send me an email, I can send you the link. White Ape Office Fruit. Cool. And we go like this. And we're going to just slowly talk us through it, and there's no hurry. And you will very feel free to do a variation if you haven't quite got it. Do, a, do something 
and and it will be perfect. I'll just show you from this side, and then we'll do it from that end, and then I'll better go uh, pack up. So just just so you can see it from the side, and then we'll join in. So there we go. Very simple. Very simple. It could be simpler. Just relax. So what we want to do is calm down, and you want to feel comfortable. Whatever it is you are doing, even if you're doing something that's not what I'm doing. Whatever it is you're doing, feel comfortable, feel connected, feel relaxed, and move from stillness. Yeah. Right, I'm going to start this end. I'll go over here as well. A bit more room. Yeah, there's a camera I sometimes use, but for some reason the Wi Fi is not so great, so I'll use that one that's a bit fuzzier, not as good as the. Yeah, so. We're going to do wide take off as fruit as our grand finale. So imagine you're in the display team. Here we go. You step in part of our quarter time. Keep the weight forward. Open. Feel that stretch. Now release the stretch. Now fan out. Wagon comes the pearl from underneath. And I'll do the counting as well. Cat starts. One step. Two part of our course is made. Three. Open. Four. Bring the hands together. Five. Fan out. Six. Dragon holds the pearl. Seven. Rotate the pearl. And eight. Cat starts. Nice and tall. Remember your sleepy tiger eye gaze. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, warm up, two, three, four, five, sit back, feel the weight transfer, and you're nice and aligned in your spine. Oh, I love this form, it's great. Right, I'm really glad the church is getting fixed up because it looks really nice. It's probably got good acoustics, I should think. I'm going to just go. And then we step part of our horse's name. Oh, open. So you're paying attention to how you're moving. You're keeping focused but relaxed. Okay, one more time. Step part of our course is in. Open, close, open, close, rotate. And then step into Wuchi, bring the hands up and down. Okay, come around in a, in a circle. So we've got a circle then, that would be a triangle. <laughs> okay, so we're just going back. Oh, the sun's coming up. Wonderful. Just turning them. What an amazing session. This is great. So nice to have fun. Yeah, do you feel, you know, if you, if you are kind of, you know, you can't make it till later on, I'd rather you turned up and not at all. You know, it's great. Brilliant. Good effort. And you can, that's it. Very nice. I'll just turn around a bit so we can see. So it's nice and tall. So I don't, what you can hear in the, um, the soundtrack, it's a uh, it's a film called in the Spurs Wales. So uh, when I was under a pagoda, that's an entire cheer for the rain. Oh. It's quite fun. <laughs> okay, so here we go, we just do Calm the mind, stroke in the back. Calm the energy. Regulate the energy. Okay, embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe in. So you should feel that your legs have got 
muscle, because that's fine, that's perfectly normal. Very good. It's, it, it works your fan, it really works your fan this touch. Okay, and if you've got a spec, pop them on this bit so you don't lose them and tread them. And then rub the hands together and polishing the face. So, this, according to Master Chuck, helps you to look younger. Brilliant. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And then rub the hands together again and give your lower back a rub while you're doing your bounce. Your bounce and shake. Oh. Allow yourself to settle in your Gucci stance. That's it. We're going to do embrace the tiger, return to the mountain, open. Close. Lean in the arms. Jump the floor. There we go. One, nice. Two, three. Good effort, everyone. Okay.